Hey guys, it's Did Des Moines back with another video of my 75 gallon. This is basically just an update. I'm getting ready to do a water change, so I decided to give y'all a video before I do my water change. I also spotted some baby cherry barbs in here. And I got hella shrimp. I'm trying to catch some shrimp to put in my shrimp tank. I'm trying to set that trap right there. They don't seem to go for it much. Don't know if it's because I have fish in here also. I seem to catch more fish than I do shrimp. Now, that wave maker you see back there is actually not on. I haven't had it on for a while because, uh, I guess it creates too much turbulence in there. The fish seem to like it better with it off. Let me give you a quick rundown of what I got again. I got, uh, I think around seven to eight cherry barbs, uh, three females, and uh, four or five males. Of course, the brightly colored ones are males. There's another female right there. There goes that other male. I have a banana plant. Some java fern right there and over here. I mean, it's pretty mossed out as you can tell. Uh, I do this because I have a whole bunch of shrimp in there and I mean they need hiding spots I mean just look at all them shrimp right there you see a whole bunch of little baby shrimp back up in there you see just hints of red everywhere there's also a whole bunch of snails so I don't mistake any shrimp for snails look at that shrimp right there he's just grazing right along all of those back there just grazing right along and those are those are like juveniles right there. That's probably my my more buried, bigger shrimp. Yep. Also, let me try to give you a shot of these uh, little cherry bar babies right here. Look at those little mini guys. They're like mini versions of mommy and daddy but uh they seem to look like the females or they might just be females i'm not sure this is my first time breeding uh any kind of fish uh, i've had platies and they they had babies but i think they all got eight while i was in that tank but yeah you can see a little another little baby shrimp right there just grazing right along yeah they seem to ignore my traps I said I have plenty of shrimp in here and I just don't know how I even will get them out I have you can see that Amano shrimp back there he's just grazing right along uh, and I just have a whole bunch of cherry shrimp now there's another mono shrimp, see if I can get you a better picture. There we go, that's him right there. That's a female. I probably will get into breathing them here soon. But as far as that, I've got a couple of assassin snails in here trying to take care of my uh, snail problem, my trumpet snail problem. Um, I mean, the trumpet snails, they help keep stuff clean, so I don't too, too mind them. But as far as what I have for plants, I have starge and rippins here. Nice carpet going. They carpeted well. I was trying to go for an effect of keeping it in the middle. I'm kind of keeping everything on the outside. I did have some stray ones over here. Contemplating what I'll do with them. We all see, as I told y'all earlier, got the java fern on both sides over there and here and what I right here is some Ludwigia I want to say it was Ludwigia no, yeah, maybe it is Ludwigia I'll give you a better term later I'm not good with these plant terms there seem to be so many of them and a whole bunch of java moss for the shrimp I had because I, I wanted this to be a community tank so shrimp and fish could kind of coincide that's why I only have small fish in here a couple cardinal tetras and cherry barbs but 
there's more shrimps and snails than they are fish. I mean, dang, they've bred up so much. I started out with like 10 shrimp and I mean, there's got to be at least 50 in here if you count the really baby small ones. Because I mean, I've seen some smaller than the baby fry I have in here. But that's probably it for the update. Let me know what you guys want. Uh, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want more videos. I'll get more videos out to you guys. I mean, I'm just starting this thing up. And uh, I mean, if there's anything you see in the tank that you want, just send me a PM and we can work out a deal. Good, all right. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Peace.